Hello students, I'm here once again with a very interesting Olympiad question and I want to make sure you understand this so you follow me gradually to learn. Now let this be my equation 1 and this my equation 2. Okay, from equation 1. I can now use the knowledge of difference of two squares so that it's going to be a plus b into a minus b. Recall I said we use the knowledge of difference of two squares. Okay, so take note of that. Now, yet from equation... Two, I'll, I'll factorize so that I will have a uh, into a plus b, okay, is equals to 3. Do not forget this is equals to 2, all right? So, in summary, I have a plus b uh, into a minus b is equals to 2. Then I have a into a plus b that is equals to 3. Now, recall this has not changed. This is still my equation 1 and this is my equation 2. Okay. Now, again, from equation 2, I can now have it as a plus b is equals to 3 over a. What I did is to make this the subject formula. So I have it this way. Now, I will now continue. Or better still, let me say this is my equation 3. Then I will substitute 3, that is equation 3 now, in 1. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, in 1, recall it is a plus b into a minus b. That is, it equals to 2. But again, take note. This has been worked to be this. Okay? So, I will now substitute it so that I'm going to have 3. Are you following me now? Okay, good. 3 over a into a minus b is equals to 2. Hence, I'm going to have 3 into a minus b is equals to 2a. That is true cross multiplication. Now, expanding the bracket, I'm going to have 3a minus 3b is equals to 2a. Collecting like terms, I have 3a minus 2a is equals to 3b so a is equals to 3b now i will look at this and label it quest, uh, equation 4 now since i have equation 4 there are some things that i needed to learn i needed to recall okay i need to recall this from equation 1 we actually said or we are given that a squared minus b squared is equals to 2. Now, my a is 3b. So, I will substitute so that I'm going to have 3b all squared minus b squared is equals to 2. This is 9b squared minus b squared is equals to 2. So, I have 8b squared is equals to 2. b squared is equals to 2 over 8. So, that we can have it as 1 over 4 when being reduced to the lowest term. So, b squared is equals to 1 over 4. On square rooting both sides, b is going to be equals to plus minus 1 over 2. Why? Because the square root of 1 over 4 
like this is going to be 1 over 2 but of course it's plus minus so that is exactly what I've done now I can safely say that my b is equals to um, either 1 over 2 or b is equals to minus 1 over 2 now when b is equals to 1 over 2 you should recall that a is equals to 3b so remember we are going to have a is equals to 3b so a is going to be 3 into 1 over 2 which will now be 3 over 2 so a will be one whole number 1 over 2 we're done with that aspect then i will now come back to the second aspect when b is equals to minus 1 over 2 we we'll now have our a to be equals to 3 into minus 1 over 2 which is minus 3 over 2 so therefore we can now have our a to be equals to minus 1 whole number 1 over 2 now combining it on this side remember our a is one whole number one over two comma then my b is one over two i'm done with this side then on this side my a is minus one whole number one over two comma then my b is minus one over two now these are the combined solution to this um simultaneous equation okay i want to believe the video is very simple and direct so do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to keep watching the youtube channel